Hi again, it's Lisa, and welcome back to Our Shabby Cottage. Today, we're going to take some old glassware and repurpose it into old-looking faux Crocs. Um, now, uh, I've had this piece in my store for, for quite a while, and it doesn't seem to be moving. Uh, so, uh, I thought that I would turn it into a faux Croc. Um... When I look at this piece, I, I kind of think of crock anyway because it's got the handle and it's a thicker glass. So I think it'll be really easy to make it look like a crock. Uh, now I'm going to start with some Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral. Um, I'm obviously not sponsored by Waverly, but I do like this Mineral chalk paint. It, it has the look of crocks. Um, it's just a really good color to to make an item look like a crock. Now, I'm going to put a coat on this, um, and uh, it's going to take at least a couple of coats to, uh, to cover it well. Uh, some people add a little bit of uh, baking soda to give it some sort of a texture, but, but I really don't think it needs it for this crock. So, I'm just using straight chalk paint. So... Um, and another item I want to use is something that almost looks like a crock already, but somebody has painted it and didn't do a very good job on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and give that a couple of coats of the Waverly Mineral Chalk Paint as well. And uh, this one is covering a little bit better because it's already got some paint on it. Uh, but just give it a good coat. Now, I do put a coat over that top, and there is a lip inside that just goes down maybe an inch or two, and I, I'm just getting that so that just when you look at the top, it, it looks like it's it's um, that color on the inside. I don't like to paint inside these because uh, if I decide to put some water in it and put some flowers or something, it, it's still usable. So I'll go back on this, and I won't make you watch that, but I'm going to put another coat on each of these when they dry, and I will go back and, and paint the bottom of this one because they had painted the bottom in, in the color that was on the outside, so just to make it look better. Now, this is an olive oil bottle, um, and I chose it because uh, I don't know if you've seen the little crock uh, bottles. Um, and I felt like this one kind of had that look. If I were to paint it, it, it would it would look good. Uh, you could do a wine bottle if you wanted. Uh, I just felt like this particular bottle would, would look good displayed with, with the others. And obviously, on all these pieces, I did give them a, a little bit of a cleaning with some alcohol. I just put a little alcohol in a spray bottle and spray it on them and wipe it off. Uh, so, and, and here I'm just giving this a, a first coat as well. Now, when these dry, as I said before, I do go back and put another coat on them, and, uh, and then they'll be ready for the next step. So, these have dried, and, and, uh, see, it looks a lot like a crock already. Uh, but we're going to use, uh, the IOD stamps in the crockery stamps. These stamps are wonderful. They, they work really well to make an item look like a crock. Um, now this one is going to be a little tricky because of the shape. Um, because I don't, I don't know if you've used these stamps before, but you don't want them to move. Uh, so what I'm going to do is is a lot of times you may have to um, you may have to put this stamp on a paper and then decoupage that on but obviously I, I don't want that look here I want these to look like actual crocs so I'm just gonna have to try to do my best to to get this placed right so always hold to the center of your of your stamp and then I'm just rubbing a little out to each side don't take your hand off off the stamp though because you you definitely don't want that to move and and smear and once you get that held sorry my head's in the way here uh, once you get that held 
down and, and take it. see it looks so much like a crock um, and I'll you I'll do that on all three of these items and um, and then they'll display well together I, I think that these may be, even be something that I display in my home now I need to find you can see the olive oil is kind of raised on that one side so we're going to go with the flat side and um, find a stamp that will fit onto that now I wanted to use this stamp but it, it was just a little bit too big for that so I had to find another one and and I found one that I haven't used before so um, it when you first use these uh, these stamps you need to um, get them ready to accept the um, the ink so you just take a, a 220 grit sandpaper and just very lightly in one direction uh, sand just the little surface off of it so that it'll accept that ink and now we can ink that stamp up and get it ready to put on now if you haven't used these stamps before they're really fun there's so many things you can do with these IOD stamps um, I'm, I'm pretty new to them myself. I've used the stamps a lot, but uh, these crockery stamps are really hard to find. And uh, I haven't had my crockery stamps long, but I'm loving them. Now, you could use this technique just on a regular jar uh, if you wanted. Um, but then here, I have, see how much that this one looks like a, um, a crock with that handle. And it looks so much better than it did with that blue and white finish on it. So here I found a stamp for this one. And I'm just going to do the very same thing. Again, I haven't used this particular one before. So I'm going to get that surface ready to accept that, that ink. Now I could have used a, a blue ink on this. Because a lot of the Crocs are done in blue. Uh, but where I'm thinking of using this, I, d I didn't want the blue. Um, so I'm just going to do these in black. And there again, you just put it on there. almost put it on upside down. Uh, and I want my handle to the side. So just hold that center and press, press firmly over the entire surface before you lift it. Being careful not to slide it. Now this one did uh, smear just a little bit as you can see but but I think they turned out pretty good now one thing I forgot to mention is before I put these stamps on here I did spray uh, a clear coat on on this paint um, after it had dried uh, that way, if, if I did make a mistake with my uh, stamp, it would be a little easier to wipe off. And then also I wanted that clear on there before I try to do this antiquing wax. Because the, I don't want the antiquing wax to take too strong. I mean, too, uh, too dark in places and make it hard to rub in. So I'm just taking, some people might use a brush. I just put a little bit on a rag and... And kind of concentrate more on, around the edges uh, because if you look at a lot of the old crocs that's where they get some um, the age uh, it, it looks darker around the edges and I just feel like that makes it look more authentic and then I just rub it off good now if you can't get enough off of it then uh, just wet your rag a little bit and uh, It'll usually come right off, but you know it, you're you're looking for random anyway, so uh, it really isn't hard to get the look that you want. And then I just do this all the way around uh, the bottle, and uh, some around the top. And uh, as you can see, it's starting to look like crockery already. And um, it it when you're displaying it, no one will know that it isn't. I love to do these thrift flips. They're actually my favorite thing to do, even more so than just regular crafting. 
Uh, I love doing all of it, but this is just my favorite. And I love to go thrifting and find other people's unwanted junk and make it look really pretty. So I did that on that one. And each of these items I'll do the exact same thing on. I'll just uh, concentrate that antiquing wax around the edges and um, and wipe it off good. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm really enjoying doing them. And um, and I hope that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, that you will. And I hope that you'll share and comment and like. All those things help my channel to grow. And I really appreciate all of you who have. And again, as I say before, if you have any um, any ideas on how I can make my channel better, please feel free to drop me a comment. Crocs are so pretty to decorate with, and they go in, in farmhouse style, cottage style, or uh, rustic, uh, primitive style. Uh, and, and it's just so easy to, um, to create this look. And they display well with a lot of other items also. Um, but here I am just wiping this this off. And, and if I can't get it enough of it off, then I just have to dip my rag in a little bit of water and to thin it down. And a lot of people, when they use this antiquing wax, will mix a little water with it and thin it down. But, but I didn't here. I just went straight antiquing wax. And as you can see, it's... it's uh, it's wiping off pretty good. Now, when you concentrate that that brown just around the edges like that, that gives it a, a natural, um, a natural aged look. And that's really all there is to it. Um, just those little easy steps, and you have what looks like a crock. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. I hope you enjoyed today's video and and I really hope that you'll join me on my next one. If you haven't hit the notification button that will let you know when I upload a new video, please do. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good evening.